Hello and welcome to another Tech Talk Thursday. My name is Ray and in today's video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the if condition within Azure Synapse Pipelines. Similar to a previous video where we looked at the switch statement, the if statement is going to give you an evaluation between two conditions. So we're going to get started here by going into my Azure Synapse Studio. We'll create a new pipeline. Let's name this if logic. And you're going to find the if condition under iterations and conditions. Here you can see we have our if condition right here. <clears throat> and what you can see automatically is you have an if condition and you can see the evaluation for either true or false. So in order for us to set the evaluation condition, we need to set, we need to go over and navigate to the activities tab. And here is where you can add your expression. And depending on whether or not this evaluates to true or false is going to determine which bucket the execution falls under. So let's add a simple expression here. I don't have anything wired up, so we'll just use a logical function. Let's use an if condition and we'll also use an equals. And what we'll say is if one equals one, then I want true or I want one else give me false. What this is going to evaluate is to one. And then what we're going to see is that because this evaluates to true, that the true condition will run. What now I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the true segment of the if condition, and we are just going to bring in a very simple wait statement. And what we'll do is we'll set this wait to five seconds. Actually, let's set it to three seconds. And what else I'm gonna do is I'm going to configure another wait activity here. However, this is only gonna be for two seconds. That way we have a distinction between what wait is being called upon. And I'll call this wait false. We'll call the other one wait true. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this condition and see what happens. So the expectation is going to be that we evaluate to true based on our logic that we put in our if condition. So you can see that that is exactly what happened. We went to wait true and this pipeline is now finished executing. Let's go ahead and do the opposite. Right? What happens if this evaluates to true? So we're going to say one is equal to zero, which will evaluate to the false condition. And now we should be able to get that false execution to trigger. There you can see, false two. Now there's a couple of things that um, we should know about if conditions. And if we dive into the activity itself, you're gonna notice that the iterations and conditions graze out a couple of the activities within here. And if you hover over this, you're gonna see that right now there's no support for nested for each activities within an if condition. What you would have to do in this particular case is use the execute pipeline itself and have a separate pipeline that is called within an if condition if you want to do any type of iterations. So I just want to call that out explicitly. And that's going to do it for this short video tutorial. I hope you learned of something of value today and we're going to see you in the next one. Thank you.